Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. My name is Simon Rare and you're watching Simon Rare Tarot and I'm coming back with another fan card reading. So, today's reading is going to be about um, why do people follow you and unfollow you on social media. So first we're going to figure out why people follow you on social media and then we're going to look at why the people unfollow you on social media. Okay? Yo, yesterday I had posted a video on uh, general reading. Make sure you guys uh, check that out as well. I was uploading my picket card, so I'm going to upload both of these at the same time. You know what? Are you sure? Okay. I hope this didn't do four piles. Y'all be hating on four piles. <laughs> but, like, it's didn't do four, four piles. This about when you're probably not going to be that long. But, yeah. I, I know that somebody going to tell me. They're they going to say, um sage more or some shit because somebody was whispering in my ear on my video like a spirit or something by fact i'm gonna look at what people's first thought is and then we're gonna look why, why they follow and unfollow okay see that's what they wanted first thoughts are you sure all right damn <laughs> First thought to this. How are you guys? How are you guys? You already know what I'm gonna say. I miss you guys. I always miss you guys. First thoughts to If you happen to see the card, remember never pick by oh I like that card or oh that saying is pretty or that picture is pretty or something, you know, that describes it well. Pick by what your gut says, all right? Because tarot is gonna read you, baby. Tarot is going to read you. So nine times out of ten, if you try to pick some shit because it make you feel good inside and it's not a feel good inside reading, <laughs> yeah, you're on some bullshit. And you know you're on some bullshit. Spirit gonna tell you what the fuck spirit. Spirit is I said what I said. I said what I said. That's what spirit is. Spirit is I said what I said. Not oh I want to make you feel good. It's I said what I said. It's, I feel like I got so much to do. But like somehow I'm just maintaining it and it's, it's really freaking me out. Cause it's like, I feel like I got so much to do, but it's like, I'm not tired, but it's like, you should be tired. Like, bitch, why are you not tired? You got all this shit you gotta do. All this shit you're supposed to be doing. And you just not tired. It's ridiculous to me. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Who remember that? Y'all remember what I'm talking about? I don't understand. No, I don't understand. Drop them in the comments. Drop them in the comments if you remember it. If you don't know who that is, maybe you too old, too young to be on my page. started in a, in a few moments I'm just packing my little lunch here so I have to do that and one thing 
are done. Alright, you got any ready? Let it see. What are people's first thoughts when they see your social media? I don't like when it's cloudy like this. you have for power number one you have here's how you get to wise refuse to hear stories that aren't even yours to hear refrain from telling stories that aren't yours to tell if someone comes at you with an omg did you hear about stop them right there and ask if it's gossip rumor dirt or other such junk this Ten um tends to kill everyone shit talking boner. Then you have gossip dies when it hits the ears of the wise. So immediately when people see your social media, they feel a very positive energy from it. So either you guys might post very motivational quotes or like your captions are motivational and stuff like that. Like I don't feel like this is the type to have. You know how some people have a social media and on our, all on our social media, every caption is about how, oh, you bitches can never or you could never or i'm rich i got this i'm so smart i'm so pretty and all you guys are, you you get like i get like once in a while you could do a caption and stuff like that like oh i'm this pretty i'm that pretty right but i for one never felt the need to do a caption like oh you bitches would never you know what I'm saying? you bitches would never what i'm not worried about bitches this is my page <laughs> you get what i'm saying and i feel like you hold that same energy like when people get on your page you it's like you they can tell that you're posting for yourself and not posting for others you get what i'm saying like you don't feel like every time you do something you need to post you don't feel like every time like you wear some designer it's not like all in the camera because you know how now like people every time somebody wears some designer every pose they have they feel like that they feel like every pose they have that um that designer item or high um high price item needs to be in the camera because like oh everybody gotta know how money but they feel like when they when people get, get on your page it's like a, a not a normal i wouldn't say a regular person but like it's like a chill page it's like oh you might like fashion or you might like games or you might like arts like it's more so about you than what you have it's more so about um um you yeah it's not it doesn't seem like you're trying to clout chase at all um you're not posting negative videos you're not making fun of people like you know like i always unfollow people who post shit like like uh like fight videos and argue videos and and people who just post negative shit like you're not you're not a person that posts negative shit you get what i'm saying so people when they first look at your page they feel positive energy from it and they feel like you're a positive person they feel like you're a drama free person a carefree person now let's see why okay they told me to use the red for follow. What? Okay, make up your mind, spirit, please. Please. I said please. Okay. So, we're going to start with people, why people unfollow you first. Okay. <laughs> so, sometimes the first card, I'm going to just run through it because it, it always fell out. So, I'm going to just run through them. So, the first card you got out, why do people unfollow you on your social media page is because you're always saying some positive shit and it's like kind of making them feel like that you're fake. They feel like, uh, for some reason, people tend to feel like people who are positive all the time or somewhat fake positive like i just i just found out about that word it's uh, it's um fake they you was i hate fake positive people like how are you so happy all the time like so positive all the time and what people fail to realize is i don't even think that like people be positive all the time per se but i just think certain people myself included choose not to be negative because it's like why you know what I'm saying? it's like i don't have like me being negative or being mad about something isn't going to get me the outcome that i i want anyway so why not just be positive like even if i'm going through something there's no need for me to get on some social media and be miserable right then you have comp you have harmony so people uh some people unfollow you because they're just not aligned with you they're not on a tight wave you're, t you're on they're not on a positivity tip you're on they're not on a self-love tip you're on they just don't they don't so they, so they don't understand you they're not aligned with you they don't so they don't understand you so they unfollow you right then you have um 
people who want to follow you because they feel like they see that they ain't shit. Basically, next to you, they feel like they ain't shit because it's like, and this is not even an appearance thing. This is more of like a positivity attitude thing. It's like, why can I be like this person? I'm always miserable, depressed. I hate myself. I think I'm ugly. I hate everyone around me. I hate my life. And, and being around someone who has that much positive energy, who has that much good things to say about themselves and others, who has a good outlook on the world, maybe you're always outside. You always look happy in your pictures. It makes people like kind of jealous so they unfollow you because it, it brings their answer securities out then you have harmony so some people unfollow you because they don't believe you they feel like you're hiding something they feel like it's something it's like they feel like you show one thing to the world and you ever let everybody bite everything to the world but in reality you're something different so i, I feel like a lot of people will not follow you just because they be hating because of, they, they think that your energy is fake because they don't they don't see how a person can be i don't because I, I don't i don't want to keep saying regular but like you're not really acting like a celebrity or acting like you need everybody's attention or acting like you need to show off everything you have. And because you're not doing that, they feel like, how can you really be happy? How can you really be that lit if you're not, quote unquote, like trying to be lit? You get what I'm saying? Then you have... In the, you have independence so some people follow, unfollow you because you shine so bright but they they unfollow you like because they don't want like they don't want you to have the satisfaction of knowing like oh this person follows me or or this person thinks I'm cool da, da, da. so what they do is a lot of them follow you from a fake page or like some type of a shadow page or something like a mock page that's not them so you have a lot of people that unfollow you but they'll follow you on their fake pages so that you don't get the satisfaction especially if you see like weird people watching your stories every day day you're like yo who the fuck is this watching my story every day it's people like it's people like um it is people um basically trying to to keep tabs on you but don't want to give you the, the uh the benefit of the of you knowing that you inspired them or you knowing that they follow you like people will do that like sometimes i'm not gonna lie i'll be doing that shit especially to some of my exes i'll be like man fuck you i'm not giving you the satisfaction of knowing that i, I still fucking follow you and keep tabs only do that for only do that for like one person though everybody else i'll be looking at your stories or if i unfollow you i'm not gonna be like you know what i'm saying but yeah, that's why people are following you. So let's see why people follow you. So people follow you because you empower them and they feel like you're powerful. And if they see they, they they see that you're protected, those who are into spirituality. And even if you're not into spirituality, sometimes people's souls can see who you really are. So they see that you're protected and they're intrigued by that. They see you, they see that you operate in peace and love and they're intrigued by that. They also find you to be very, very handsome and very, very beautiful. Your aura is what makes you beautiful. Your your aura is what makes you handsome. Like you might be attractive and stuff like that, but more people are attracted to your your aura and your light, right? So it makes and it, it, it's like you're always moving forward constantly doing something so either going somewhere or or doing something or expressing yourself in some type of way you get what i'm saying so because of that um because of that people really 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 uh like follow you because it makes them want to move forward in life like people who are moving forward in life or want to move forward in life want to be around and follow people who are doing the same thing like and again i tell you about my life to help y'all with y'all like i say that because a lot of times like i don't follow so many people that's not really doing shit and i only follow like other entrepreneurs i only follow other spiritual people because it's like it's no point in me following somebody who don't do shit on their page all day like i don't have nothing to look at you get what i'm saying like it's nothing for me to look at right but that's that's basically what that means but with that being said that is your reading pile number one i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like the video make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you are interested in a person reading that information is in the description box below if you're interested into my free reading giveaway all you have to do is leave that red heart in the comment section below with that being said moving on to my next pile pile number four what do people first think when they look at your social media how did testicles get so hyped up as the power center of the world? The heart, my friend, has always been more of a powerful thing than those two delicate, uh, dangly, dangly things. Check, check it within your heart. Po put your hands over that giant thumping muscle and ask it straight up how it would run your day if it was given a chance. Give it a chance. It says, heart is the new balls. So people follow your page because you probably post some out of wild, out of pocket shit. So this could be about politics. This could be because I'm really getting like politics for real, or like um some type of something like. But you start, you have a habit of starting a lot of conversations on your social media. Like, and even if you, even if you don't know that you started this, the conversation, like 
you 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 know the type of social media where you will post something and it, it'll be nothing to you. It'd be like a little quote or like some type of shit or like what you thinking or tweet or whatever, right? And people will post that shit in their story and be having a full blown conversation about what you posted and not even including you. Like you're the type of person who posted on their page. Um, you, you ever heard of that guy Justin Le, Le Boy or whatever? He posts quotes on his page all day. Like him and his team. Obviously, it's not him. It's his team that come up with the shit and they just post that on their page. And people, millions of people follow him and they um post repost his quotes. You get what I'm saying? So I say that to say. I say that to say. Basically, you're, you have a conversation starter, so people might follow your page and they'll take their a screenshot what you post or whatever. 